Hi guys, welcome to High School Master.co.uk. Today we're going to look at indices rule number two, which is the, the division rule. And when you're dividing indices that have the same base, we subtract the powers. And that's what this rule in the yellow box is saying here. Uh, so we can have a look at, if we have a look at this first example, I've already kind of covered that for you. Um, but a to the power of five divided by a cubed. Um, if you do five, take away three for the powers, that gives you a resultant power of two. So we've got a squared as a final answer. The base doesn't change. All that changes here is the power. So if we look at the second example, using a similar way, this one's written uh, as a fraction rather than using the kind of primary school division symbol. Um, both things still follow the same rule that's in the yellow box above. So a wee bit more care here because we've got this negative, uh, negative power on the bottom line. So we're doing seven take away negative two. So that's a double negative coming into play there, which means seven plus two. Um, so the base is B this time, but seven minus minus two would be B to the power nine. Next example. And here again, we've introduced numbers. Um, quite common that 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 you come across that in kind of exam and past paper type questions. The the key thing is that you treat them exactly as you normally would. It's that you're dividing two numbers. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So that doesn't change here. Our indices rules only kick in when we're dealing with powers. Okay, so here we're moving on to the c to the power 5 and c to the power 4. It's dividing using division rule 2, which means we subtract the powers. So we get c to the power 5 take away 4, which is 1. And again, we wouldn't really write that as 4c to the power 1. That would just be 4c. Anything to the power 1 is just the term on its own. So 4c would be our final answer there. Here, same idea as we had before with the numbers. This time, they're not going to um, divide exactly. However, they are going to simplify like you would with a normal fraction, 8 and, uh, eight and 10, both in the two times table. So we can half both those numbers. So we end up with 4 over 5. And then we've got the indices terms. So D to the power of something is going to be our next step. Now, what you'll notice the way I've written this, the way I would advise you to write that, is the fraction separately. So we'll deal with the numbers first, 4 fifths and then the d at the side, okay? Um, that just means four fifths times d to the power of whatever we're going to get. Here, uh, five take away eight as negative three, so we end up four fifths d to the power of negative three as our final answer. Now, we can look at that a little bit more when we reach one of the later on indices rules, um, and we can look at how to deal with negative powers and what a negative power actually means, um, but for now, that's as far as we want to go with indices rule number two. So hopefully you found this helpful. Uh, please check out highschoolmaster.co.uk for other useful videos and revision worksheets. And if you like this video, um, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.